Hello there YouTube, this is the Suburbinator here. I just want to show you what this ZZP engine mount looks like in here and it looks awesome. Here's the old one. See, there's a lot of give, you can really push it in, especially here. This is what's hopping around pretty much. Cheap pig iron. It's garbage and actually, um, yeah, it did actually come apart. Anyhow. I just want to show you how to do it. It's very, very easy. That's why I didn't make a whole how-to video. Okay, so you got your air box here. Now, if you have like an aftermarket or something, it may be different. But if you have the stock one, here's how it goes in. This bottom piece here feeds onto this part here. So make sure you get that. I'm talking about putting it back on, but when taking it off, you have a T30 Torx here, right? And then you got two 10 millimeter bolts, which you'll need a deep 10 millimeter socket. Make sure all your sockets are six point. Now, you put a jack with the wood block, I put the wood block away already because I'm done with the job, under the oil pan. You jack it up just a little till you see the engine move a bit. Then you proceed to loosen these two 18 millimeters. Uh, crack them loose and then crack these loose. Get the 18 millimeter bolts out. Um, these studs will still hold it in place. And as you start to unscrew these 15 millimeters, um, you know, jack up the engine progressively and make sure the holes are lined up. Do not use any impact tools or air tools when putting them back on so you have no risk of cross threading. And then it's pretty much reversed from there. Get these 315, go from center, this one, and then this one. Um, to make sure I didn't use too much torque, I use this long snap on ratchet. First, I tighten it, grabbing it by here, then from the back. And that should hopefully keep you from putting too much torque on these. Uh, there is a torque back. I, I will uh, probably put it up in the description later if I uh, find the uh, torque specs. But it's pretty straightforward. It's not that bad. And I just want to show you what it looked like inside the car. Just nothing special, really. But yes, this will fit the non super sport as well as they both use the same mount. Well, I can't wait to put this back together and. Uh, See how it works.